hyphens was served this is our gift on 360 leader it's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix facetime reaction effects not working on iphone and ipad facetime has received several new features in ios 17 however what has probably been at the forefront of attention is the ability to invoke 3d augmented reality reaction effects this is precisely what you need to light up the fun loving facetiming with your loved ones but what if you can't trigger facetime reaction effects on your iphone or ipad both or not, as I have found out some workable tips to fix the problem. That said, let's get started. First and foremost, I would recommend you to clean the front camera. You can use a soft, lint free cloth to gently clean the selfie camera and then start using FaceTime to check if you are able to trigger the reaction effects this time around. Then I would suggest you to remove the screen protector. Though most screen guards claim to have the perfect dimensions, not all of them are able to walk the talk. If the screen guard installed on your iPhone lacks precise dimensions, it might be interfering with the selfie camera. It is worth pointing out that privacy screen guards are designed to block the side angle viewing in order to shield your information from the prying eyes, while a privacy screen defender is a great way to safeguard your information. At times, it won't hinder the front camera from functioning properly. Next up, I would also like to point out that as of now, there are only 8 reaction effects that you can use in the first time. And they are stormy rain, fireworks, confetti, love, like, dislike, balloons, and laser beams. Next up, I would recommend you to force quit the FaceTime app and then relaunch it. Since this nifty solution has worked for many users, I can vouch for its effectiveness. Just swipe up from the home bar to access the app switcher and then swipe up the FaceTime app card to force quit the app. After that, open FaceTime and then start a video call as usual and then use physical gestures to check if the reaction effects have started to work as usual. Then I would suggest you to hard reset your iPhone. When dealing with a weird issue like this one, you can count on the hard reset to let you fix the problem. To do so, just press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button, then you have to hold down the side button, aka the power button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Next up, I would recommend you to disable enable FaceTime reactions on your iPhone or iPad. As this nifty trick has worked for me, I can count on it to get rid of the problem. Just open the FaceTime app on your iPhone or iPad, then start a video call as usual. After that, swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to bring up the control center. Then tap on the video effects style. And finally tap on the reaction button to turn it off. Then wait for a couple of seconds and then hit the reaction button again to enable it. Now use different hand gestures to check if the reaction's effects have started to work perfectly. If it has, you have gotten the better of the problem, so it's time to rejoice. Next up, I would recommend you to disable enable FaceTime on your iPhone or iPad. So the reaction effects continue to ill function in the FaceTime app, try disabling enabling FaceTime on your iOS or iPadOS device. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now scroll down and choose FaceTime. Then turn off the toggle next to FaceTime. After that, restart your device. And once your device has restarted, go back to the FaceTime setting and then turn it on. And finally, I would recommend you to update the software on your device as there's a high chance that a software bug might be behind the whole chaos. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now tap on General. Then tap on Software Update and finally download and install the latest iteration of iOS or iPadOS as usual and that's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix FaceTime reaction effects not working on iPhone or iPad. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem. If you found this video helpful, do like, consider it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye.